Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to share with you these little $10 look, well they're not little, $10 lookalikes to the Porsche Design sunglasses that became really popular a couple of years ago. Found these puppies on eBay, only about $10.30 or something with tax, really good deal overall. And um, what inspired me was not the whole Kardashian thing because they were famous for wearing these and then a couple of other mainstream celebs. We're wearing the all black version with the black lenses and I wasn't a fan of that. Not a fan. It was looking pretty gaudy and I just didn't like it in that context. But what got me thinking about this was actually the 70s Charlie's Angels. I was on Instagram and saw this picture. And it doesn't get any better than Cheryl Ladd. I mean, the body envy, she looks so good. Who looks better in those sunglasses? I don't know. You tell me. But... It really kind of inspired me to go search out a version um, with gradient lenses and I happened to come across these on eBay. Um, here's the thing real quick about dupes and lookalikes. I don't have a problem with them as long as they're not trying to put the logo on there and pass it off as real. People are copying people all the time. High-end designers copy each other as well. So you'll see the same exact sunglasses are a very similar thing in two different designers lines. And you're thinking, wow, wow. I see what you did there. Um, but I mean, this goes for everything. Clothes, handbags, whatever it is, somebody's always doing the same thing. So as long as somebody's not trying to put Porsche design on this and pass it off as a real thing and sell it for that price, even if they're not selling it for that price, it's still really wrong. Other than that, is it, it is them doing the same sort of shape frame wrong? No, I, I personally don't think so. Um, and you can tell me what you think down below. Obviously, if you don't want to do this kind of thing, I totally understand. Um, <clears throat> what is with my throat lately? <laughs> it's not COVID. So uh, I decided to go for the bronze frame and the brown gradient lenses. Um, the actual Porsche design glasses have um, four lens size options, uh, 60 through like a 69, I think. A lot of variations there. I haven't measured these. I don't have something that really could measure these, but I'm pretty sure these are a 60. Anyway, they're still really big, as you can see in the intro there. Um, obviously, this little frame is made in China. Um, you get what you pay for, obviously, but I do like the fact that they have Category 3 lenses in them. So, nice protection, pretty clear to look out of. I mean, they're not, there's nothing like overtly bad about them. The nose pads are uh, sturdy and they could take a good couple of adjustments, I'm sure. They're not flimsy, like they don't feel like they're going to break. And as you could see earlier, they sit on my face um, without being lopsided, which is rare for, for something of this price. Um, it's a comfortable fit both behind the ears and on the face and for the weight of the frame and the size of them they're actually not very heavy at all. There are some minor like little inconsistencies where the prongs that are holding the lenses in are flush on some parts and then over here it's like sort of sticking out and then one lens is higher than the other and you can feel that at the top there but I mean who's really going to notice? I mean you will now that I've pointed it out but other than that, I don't really see anything wrong with these. The temples, um, the little plastic over the end of the temples move around a bit. But I don't think they would actually come off. I think it would take a lot for that to happen. But again, $10. What I have noticed about glasses like this is that they keep on kicking. Like, whereas I would baby my other nice, gla like expensive glasses, I've realized that, man, there's only so much you can control with your material goods and life in general before something happens. And with the other glasses, I end up with some little, like, tiny scratch, but it still drives me nuts. Or some little issue, even though they didn't fall, something ends up happening. Whereas these can fall from my head on the pavement and be fine. It must be some weird law that I'll never be able to explain. But kind of makes you want to look at more cheaper alternatives sometimes because, you know... There's only so much control you have, and it really sucks when money kind of goes down the drain and you're like, ooh, over one scratch. So, anyway, what I've found with these uh, cheaper glasses is that they keep kicking for a couple of seasons, like a couple of consistent summers in a row, or, I mean, at least getting me through one year or the better part of the year. And I find that really good for the price you pay. You can't even get them this cheap at the, at the, um, 
gas stations, really. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a great deal. I'll put the description, I mean, what? I'll put the link in the description to the exact seller that I used. I've used them before. They're really good. They ship very fast from California. Free shipping, and you can return them if you want. You just have to pay for the returns. But they've always been nice, and um, they've got a lot of really good dupes on their page. And uh, I really enjoy shopping there when I want something that's in fashion, but I know it's trendy. Um, but I don't want to pay a lot. That's like my go-to place. So the one I put down below is the one that I have experience with and I really like. Um, as far as the brand on these, I don't know what it is. Um, there wasn't anything in the packaging. Usually there isn't when I get these kinds of glasses and it's just a mystery. I don't know. Um, so unfortunately I can't give you that, but there are a couple of nice color options in addition to this one, including like a, a blue yellow kind of fade which is really pretty and then a bronze frame with sort of a transparent lens so um that's really nice as well so yeah cheap little porsche design dupe maybe you want these for a costume so you can look like chris jenner um or maybe you just want them just because so yeah i think that they're pretty good thought i'd just make a, a video about them it helps me accomplish my little 70s early 80s thing and it's made me pretty darn happy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. If you're, if you find something to do, I'll probably just be watching Halloween Town 1, 2, and 3 uh, over and over again, as I usually do. So uh, let me know what you're doing this week, if you have any plans, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.